Hi, Dan. I just moved in next door. I'm a supermodel. I don't care who the IRS sends, I am not paying taxes! So this is my first CR talk since version 1.0 of this game. And since I'm most likely going to be doing this for every update from this point on, let me quickly run down my thoughts on every version I missed. 1.1 was good, Silverwolf is broken, and while we didn't get a main story quest, Loach's campaign quest was pretty funny. This is our boss, Startaro Bubble. 1.2 is my favorite update thus far, not just for the main story quest and the boss fight with Fantilia, but the fact that I got my two favorite characters in this patch, Kafka and Blade. Stella Ron Hunters for life, baby! Also, I caught that shit with Ting Young. With the exception of the snap. 1.3 was pretty great, especially with the stamina increase, but I do wish they would have just put the main quest for this update in the last update. I'm of the firm belief that an epilogue should be a part of the final fight, and we had enough companion quests in this patch that I would have been fine if the epilogue was in the last patch. Though it doesn't bother me too much because Swarm Disaster is honestly the best content in this game. And even with my E6 S5 blade, I am still getting my shit rocked. Okay, now onto version 1.4. So just yesterday, we had a live stream for Honkai Star Rail version 1.4 on March 7th's Twitch stream, apparently. I like the uniqueness of it, but I, I hope it's a one-time thing. So in this update, it seems we're getting a whole Pokemon battle arena where we get to capture and play as the enemies we've faced throughout the game thus far. And I know they won't do it, but they'll get the max amount of players on this mode if they do this. If they make Kakolia a playable character in this mode, the player base will immediately jump on this mode like Christmas morning, whether they like Pokemon or not. Mama. And of course, we will be getting our two new five-star characters, the Ice Queen Jing Liu and Miss Peaches. I, I I mean Topaz. I could eat a peach for hours. But honestly, what shocked me more than either of these two is the fact that we are getting our first rerun banner in this game with Zilla. See, this is a problem for me because I have Zilla at E2 and I told myself I would get her at E4 when her rerun came out. I just didn't think it would come out this early with these two characters right next to her. I mean, it makes sense because the PS5 version of this game is coming out soon, so the console players who miss Zilla will actually have a chance to get her. I just won't be one of those people because my money is going to Jing Liu. With her links in my E6 blade, I am about to be doing follow-up attacks every round, every turn, and every second with this man. Now on top of the new characters, we also get a new main story quest as we take our ass back to Bellabog because some shit is about to go down. It's been 700 years and tax evasion is a bitch. Fuck a house, this whole planet about to get evicted. But honestly, I'm more excited for the companion quest we get for this update. This companion quest is not only centered around Jing Li Yu, but for the entire High Cloud Quintet. Out of everything in this update, this is what I'm looking the most forward to. And I really hope we get some flashbacks on what actually happened. Though the one thing I do know is that Blade better not die in this patch. Do not do this to me. He is literally the only character I E6. Look, I know he wants to die, but we can prolong it just a little bit longer. We can't just kill one of the Stellaron hunters this early on, man. My Stellaron hunter fandom is on the line here. There's only four of them Stellaron and a cat. For life, baby. But with all that said, version 1.4 is looking to be a very fun ass patch. I have high expectations for the Pokemon tournament, but I hope to God they make each quest lengthy enough for it to feel like a completed story from beginning to end. And if you want to see my live reaction to each quest, I will be live streaming on my gaming channel, Chicken games the moment this update goes live. I will not be sleeping. The link to chicken games will be in the description and at the end of this video. I'm also currently playing High Five Rush for the first time, so subscribe now if you want some live reactions. Alright, I'm done with the plug. I'll see you guys either on my gaming channel or whenever I drop my next video here, which actually might be sooner than you think.